and today we're looking at Power Director app 59 in this Android series. The new version 6.3 which I glossed over because I could not find it is how to upload and download your projects from Google Drive successfully and edit them on different devices. The screen looks like this if you're not sure about it in the Google Play Store we are talking about Power Director video editor app. This is how a brand new install of PowerDirector looks and what you'll find is create a project okay there's an ad there because this is an unpaid version and upload download a project pack so the way it normally works is this if you go into looking at a brand new install where the laser point is top left as you add a first and second project this little upload download area gets pushed so when you've got one two three four four or five it's actually off the screen and I can demonstrate this in quite a bizarre manner because I've actually got um, 486 project files. Let me just play this video and narrate over the top. So what's happening here is I'm on my mobile now and I'm literally scrolling from right to left. Apologies if you're getting dizzy but I was too because I actually have to scroll with my finger 22 times through my... I'm sorry I'm getting dizzy myself but I promise it will be over soon. So if we go all the way to the end, and we keep going, boom, I've just paused it there, you've actually got this final final to the right hand side, upload download project pack. I've sent feedback directly to Cyberlink because having it on the right hand side is going to be missing. So the example is this, how to use it. You can select a project to download or upload. You can get the upload button and then we can actually get the tests that I've done one two three of them so these are the ones that I put up to drive and I wanted to see if I could bring them back again one part of it you'll get a screen which says do not rename remove or move the cyberlink directory that's fair enough at this point I thought that I was uploading or downloading just kind of like the timeline but none of the resources not true I will show you why so in the process you'll get of course the percentage bar to say that you were successful pushing it to Google Drive now I'm coming to two sample projects. One of them is talking about a still slide. So this sunset here is just a slide. It's got an opener slide, closer slide and an end slide with a couple of bits of text. The next one to look at is this one which is a video example. The video there look is recorded on my mobile phone also of a little sunset. It's a short video and I'll tell you why because how these files look in Drive is like this. So when you upload them to drive and maybe go over to in my example a Windows 10 machine we've got three portions of the file we've got the zip and we've got a webp and we've got a project file I'm not sure exactly what they are but I do know how they work meaning that the second one which is the backup and you'll notice that the zip file has got five megabytes in because it was a very small image which is pretty much the five megs you will notice on the second one with backup the zip is actually 84 megabytes because what it's actually done is it's uploaded the whole of the video. So if you had, let's say, I don't know, 20 video clips from a sports project, a holiday project, whatever, then if that upload was, say, I don't know, 500 megabytes or 2 gigabytes, that's what you'd be sending and restoring from Drive. That is worth knowing alone. So if we scrutinize these files a little bit more we can see that this one up here is the JPEG which was again the the still late sunset at four and a half megs you'll also notice that there is a custom font I used when that is expanded it's actually taking the true font type in this example Lexan Deca up to drive and bringing it back really useful to know that as I um, alluded to a tiny bit earlier that we've got the whole video, apologies if I go near the bottom of the screen here, one, two, three, four, five, I'm waiting for that bit, see the very, very bottom left, down here, that's an 84 meg video file that's been taken up to drive. Now here is the conclusion to this, let's imagine our fictitious Adam and Eve video incorporated, where Adam here, let's say uh, it's a UK company, because I'm in the UK, and they've gone off to America, so let's say Adam wishes to go to America, do a load of videoing, or could be anywhere, couldn't he, um, in the next town. He can successfully, I believe, share to and from his own Gmail or the account that runs Cyberlink Power Director. Sharing to others 
other people in a team. Is that possible? I don't think it is at the moment because what I tried to do is I tried to say in this example, upload and then download, upload to drive, share the file in the normal way and then try and get a different Gmail or Google account to download it. It wouldn't work. So my summation on this, and this is feedback to Cyberlink as well, is to say, look, if we had an example with a two-person or multi-person team, would it be better to say, Adam Video here records the lot, but when he uploads, maybe he should go and share to Adam and Eve Shared or the, the Shared Gmail or even the Eve one. And then when Eve logs in, say, in the UK, knowing that Adam is thousands of miles away in America, then they've got access to collaborate and to work together. So in other words, if Adam tries to share to Eve, it doesn't work. Maybe they need a third one or to share the Gmail. That was just a point of ending this. Look, that was PowerDirector App 59, which is all about uploading, downloading in Google Drive, which is a real excellent bonus, actually, to PowerDirector. And um, there you go. Have a lovely day and good luck with it.